I inspire you with timeless classic prim looks from my boudoir. And as always, please stick around until the end for the mini photo shoot that we provide for you at the conclusion of every episode. And in today's episode, I'm actually feeling a little melancholy, just a little moody, if you will. I actually had an entirely different color palette prepared for you today. And I think with this color palette, it will give you a big indication. It will be very indicative of what my current mood is. Um, because we're going with a shade of green. It's not really olive. I mean, there is some olive, definitely. But it's like, um, yeah, it, it is like a muted more of a muted, a matte olive color, which I think, again, is very, very indicative of where my current mood is. But we'll come back with the color palette that I actually had prepared for you, um, maybe next week. But I also think it may have something to do with what the current weather looks like here. It's very, um, the sun is not out. It's very cloudy out right now. So I think uh, it really is fitting with where the current weather is. My mood is fitting with where the current weather is. And um, let's get started. I actually have three looks for you today. Again, all in these monochrome shades of green. Again, like a matte muted green. So the first look for you, we started with a suit. And this is a Zara suit. And as you can tell, once again, I'm back with a wonderful vest for you, vest option. And I love these trousers, these matching trousers that go with this vest. Uh, again, it is a suit. And the thing that's really awesome about these trousers is it looks like it's actually sewn in reverse on the inside out, but it's not. This is actually how they were constructed. Look at that. Just really love those. And then the vest. You know that I am always in for an asymmetric cut vest. The architecture of vests really do it for me. Once again, a fantastic vest option. I love vest. Did I tell you that I love vest? Again, any type of suiting is my go-to aesthetic. But what did I marry with this look? What did I actually use as my outerwear this trench look at this and it, the thing that's really beautiful about this trench is the detail in the back there's actually a button closure here can you see that there look at that and it really is like this um heavy duty cotton stretch material fabulous now the again the suit is zara but the trench coat is actually express i know trench coats are trending right now but this trench coat has been in my closet much like the last um what was it the chevron print that i wore for you in the previous video um that suit has been in my wardrobe for uh, 25 26 years same as this trench coat Yes, 25, 26 years made fabulously. Another, another one of those items that I will never get rid of because the quality is so exceptional. Again, I've had it 20 some odd years, 20, 25, 26 years. Um, and again, it is by Express. What did I use to accessorize this entire look? Let's check it out. I went with, of course, my tarnished patinaed clutch here from Zara, but it's the boots that I think really did it for this look. <clears throat> I went with this Topshop booty. Look at this. I've had these for about 12, 13 years. Beautifully made. It really is all intricately embroidered. Just zips, of course, inside with this blocked heel for easy, easy walking. Again, it's only about two and a half, three inches of a heel, but just fabulous, just stellar. 
Again, these are by Topshop and really pull that look together. Yes, there are lovely, lovely shades of green in there, but also just brings out the gold that is um, also, this clutch brings out the gold that's also highlighted in this booty. Again, from Topshop, right? Isn't, aren't they beautiful? Again, I've had these about 12, 13 years. Moving on, look number two. For look number two, I went a little floral. Of course, here in, I'm actually based in Georgia now. I think I told you that I am a more recent transplant from uh, 30 plus years in Colorado to more recently having relocated to the Georgia area. So um, here it's not so cold right now, uh, as opposed to Colorado, what it's doing. And um, I, it's like a transitional, Th this look is a transitional thing, you know, between winter and spring, uh, which is coming upon us quite quickly, if I might add. But here, this is the look that we went with. So when I say floral, right, let's start with these slacks here, these trousers that are from H&M. I got these trousers around the Christmas season for a steal. When I say a steal, they were actually $9.99 on clearance. One of the um, times that I do most of my bulk shopping, of course, is during some kind of holiday period because you always get things that are on sale for killer, killer prices. And I am always about a great sale. So these are more of a taupe trouser. And the material is just wonderful. They're very, it's a, um, a very flowy, easy material, uh, which you can see here on the screen. But I really paired it with, married it with this beautiful top. Isn't this just fantastic? Look at that. Now, of course, you have to have the right undergarments under here, right? The right color and the right undergarments, I might add. Look, and this is by H&M. I also got this from H&M. I think, mm, I think it was like eight, nine dollars on clearance, but I've had this top for about five, six years. But the thing I really love besides the floral detailing, look at that, are the sleeves. The sleeves really do it for me on this blouse. Look at this. And they actually gather elastically in the wrist area very flowy very feminine silhouette i just love this i don't do floral patterns very much and when i do floral patterns they have to be in one color such as this blouse this top right look at that just beautiful so in love with this very feminine um, because i do a lot of structured tailored masculine looks this is a welcome departure whenever i want to do something that's more soft and feminine uh, of a silhouette right just beautiful but over this top i paired it with this beautiful boucle mint green look at that by blank nyc blank nyc um it's very heavy very heavyweight, well-made, completely lined. Look at that. Completely lined from Marshalls. Now you can get blank NYC from a number of retailers, including Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, and what have you, TJ Maxx. Uh, but I purchased this one recently from Marshalls on clearance for $20. Yes, and it is stellar, beautifully made, wonderful. It has pockets here. Yes, they are functional pockets. And I actually have a number of NYC, blank NYC jackets in my wardrobe. I have about four of them because they're actually, again, incredibly well made. Uh, all of the jackets that I have are actually leather or a faux leather. Um, but yes, just a wonderful blank, a brand. Blank NYC has been around for some time. But yeah, fantastic, right? Doesn't this look beautiful together? Right. And because of those taupe trousers, we went with a taupe bag and a taupe shoe. 
this is another one of my Italian acquisitions. Yes, another one of my dupes from Italy, from Firenze, Florence. Um, this is number four or five, I think I've shown you. I have five of them in my collection. Again, stellar craftsmanship is a one you uh, again i defy you i defy you i defy you to have to find um you know better made dupes i'm sure there are some out there but if there are i don't want to know about it because i am so impressed and so appreciative at the price point that i purchased these for when i am in italy this again is a take on the horse bit the gucci horse bit bag and again this is number four of five that i have that you have already seen um, from previous videos with this bag we went with this jessica simpson city sandal with all of the intricate sequence on this generous, generous platform here. I have had these about mm, 10 years or so. The footbed is all leather. This is a brushed um, suede, brushed leather here, uh, and just beautifully made, beautiful. Again, these are by Jessica Simpson with these four inch uh, blocked heel on them with the sequence de detailing uh, on the platform. So super easy to walk in as you might imagine but didn't they go beautifully with this bag and the trousers right just wonderful love these i am um really a, a, a taupe is one of those neutral colors that you can do anything with as evidenced by this mint green that i just paired it with but just a really good color taupe is fantastic i have a, a varying shades of taupe throughout my wardrobe because it's just such a versatile versatile color yeah moving on to number three look number three for you here is where most the, the darker shades of olive actually came out. Um, I started with this olive green. Again, one button, button um, asymmetric oversized blazer from Zara. Again, I got this blazer at Zara for about 20 bucks. I think it was $19.99 on clearance, as you might have guessed it. Um, with this, I actually paired this H&M pullover. Look at that. You see that? And yes, it does. It actually splits. So it's like a sheath, you know? So you're not wearing a full turtleneck. It's just a cover, right? I got this for like five bucks at H&M. Curious to know what you think about it. If you think you could pull one of these off, they're really easy. Again, look, look at that. Just pull it over when you don't want to have too much clothing on, but you still want to layer. But this is really, again, I love this monochrome look with this blazer, right? And of course, the trousers. I purchased these trousers are from Zara as well. Again, on clearance, they were 22 bucks. The thing that I really love and appreciate about these trousers, again, the architectural uh, design aesthetic here is this asymmetric zipper. See, look at this. So the zipper actually should be here, but it actually comes this far over for that asymmetric look and then tapers all the way to the bottom of the trouser. Yeah, again, these were on clearance. I purchased them again during the holiday Christmas season for about 22 bucks, but I hope you like those. Chime in and let me know if you like those kinds of details, um, those kinds of design features on clothing, or if you prefer just the more traditional looks. Let me know, I'm, I'm curious to see what your design aesthetics are like. And if you, you like things like that, or you just like to keep it straight laced, um, or go for something that is unexpected, right? So that was look number three. With look number three, we went with another taupe bag. 
Yeah, this is a dupe of the Kelly bag. And uh, there's no way, no how I would purchase Hermes anything. I could afford something Hermes, but I would never, ever purchase something Hermes. There's just a lot of luxury, all for the most part, luxury goods um, over a certain price point. I think I've mentioned in previous videos, I wouldn't spend over $200 for any item. I don't care what it is. I just prefer to keep my money in my pocket and invest it instead for the long haul and for my retirement future. I have quite a few years to go yet before I will need to access that money. But as you know, I retired um, from the stage in November. So making sure that my financial future is uh, secure is more important than uh, purchasing a luxury anything. I'm just not going to do it as in this dupe Kelly, which I got on Amazon for $39. And yes, it is a cowhide leather that comes in a, a variety of colors, beautifully made. Look at that. It actually comes, I haven't um, actually worn it, worn it yet, except for you for the first time today. Um, it comes with the extra strap for uh, shoulder and crossbody wear, right? The hardware on it is, as you can tell, it's just beautiful. It's a very, very well-made bag. Of course, I will link it for you in the description, but these are stellar. I am planning, I have a couple more of these in my Amazon cart to purchase. I haven't done so yet, but I do plan on purchasing uh, a couple more of these because they're just so darn well made. Just beautiful. I love this. Again, in this taupe color. Again, you can get them in a multitude of other colors. And there are a couple different sizes in these as well. This is the smallest size. I think it's a nine by seven, but you can actually get them larger as well. The shoe that we went with for this look is this Steve Madden. I have had these leather suede, um, Steve Madden's for about 15 years. I have them in a gray color as well. Again, with this four inch heel, pointed toe, with the lace up the top of the foot. Just very sexy, very sexy shoe. And you can see here the little hardware on it uh, in gold there. See that? That really did marry beautifully with the gold hardware on this dupe Kelly bag from Amazon. But these are, yes, um, this olive color that just went beautifully with that entire look, right? Again, these are Steve Madden, all leather. I've had them about 15 years. I hope you like them. I love these. Again, I have these in gray as well and plan on holding on to them. If you take care of your, your items, there should not be a need for you to be purchasing copious amounts of stuff for the sake of having more stuff, right? It's just not necessary. So there you have it. Three looks for you today, all in varying shades of this olive color green. Um, yes, that's why I'm wearing the green bomber jacket here, which I purchased, I forget, I think is like Forever 21 from 10 years ago or something, 12 years ago. But yes, I just threw this on for the video. The glasses I actually did wear in my first look as well. These are all Amazon. I will link them for you as well. And again, three looks. We started with the suit from Zara with the express trench that I've had 25, 26 years. Wonderful trench, just fantastic. And then we moved on to the floral and mint green. Yes, from H&M and blank NYC with the taupe trouser. And then we finished with the truly olive green monochrome look. Yes, with those beautiful Steve Madden's and the Kelly dupe bag. There you have it. Three looks that really did and do match my mood 
for the moment, my melancholy mood for the moment. I hope you like them. Tell me what you think about monochrome, uh, monochrome looks as well. Um, and in addition to that asymmetry that you saw in a couple of the looks, starting with that first suit from Zada, the vest, that asymmetry on the vest, as well as the uh, one button side asymmetry on the oversized blazer and the uh, asymmetric uh, detail and feature on the trouser from Zara that went with that blazer. Thank you so very much, Muses, for joining me again on another episode of Suits Souls by EPP. And as always, please head on over to Instagram and follow me there at Suits Souls by EPP. But until we meet again in better moods and not so melancholy this time, thank you so very much for joining me. A bientôt, Muses.